The Judicial so Service Commission's court task court to find the next head of the Western Cape Division of the High Court so is not an so easy one. Sure. This, as the individual recommended for the role, has to unite and lead a division that has passed a fractured period which dominated headlines. The said court saw its leadership, Deputy and Judge President court. Patricia Goliath, and impeached former Judge President John Thorpe, lay counter complaints against one another, a subject Chief I Justice Mandisa Maya disallowed during the interviews. At the beginning of 2020, it was, I think it was January 2020, you took the extraordinary step <coughs> of laying a complaint against your judge president. And that received a lot of publicity at the time, and a lot of people were critical about what was going on in the Western Cape. That's I think you need to explain to the commissioners what the context of that, that uh, complaint was. Judge Campbell, no, nah, we're not going to go there. Uh, some of these matters are still subject to, uh, to adjudication by the Judicial Conduct Committee and, and perhaps uh, the Judicial Conduct Tribunal. And uh, quite apart from that, I don't think it would be right to, 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 to ask the candidate about things which concern someone else who's not before us to answer for themselves. So please uh, just desist from that line of questioning. Judge Goliath, unlike the fellow contenders, had almost two years' experience as an acting judge president of the division, following the division's quote-unquote troubles. While Judge Goliath was of the view that her leadership stabilized the division, a comment to the JAC by a senior judge of the division held otherwise. The said comment by Judge Ali raised serious concerns which brought Judge Goliath's leadership style into question. This included, among other things, an allegation that Judge Goliath's secretary was overstepping her role with respect to her communication with judges, a responsibility of her principal, Judge Goliath. It looks like it's more than formal communication. It's actually a substantive judicial work that is being conveyed through the secretary. I think that's really the concern. So the example that is made here at 6.11 is that your secretary has taken files to Judge Ali and then Judge Ali says to her, no, 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 I already have a file. And then she says to her, well, why don't you do this one virtually? And she does so without even discussing with you. So I think it goes beyond, this is just formal communication, into its substantive judicial instructions that are conveyed through the secretary. So the secretary's role is elevated, which is perceived to be offensive by your colleagues. Considering what was at stake for this top judge role, the JSC resolved to recommend Judge Noloazi Mabindla Bokwana for appointment as Judge President of the Western Cape Division of the High Court. Judicial watchdog Judges Mata notes that the recommended candidate will have quite the task ahead of them. I don't think there's any getting away from the fact that it's a difficult division with a, a difficult history. Um, we know that there are a number of very senior judges who are going to be retiring soon. The question of where the talent is going to come from is an issue and if people feel that the division is unhappy, not conducive, not collegial, they're not going to want to act there and they're not going to want to apply for permanent position there. The JAC interviews continue on Tuesday to fill four vacancies in the Western Cape bench. Kenny Mapanga, SABC News, Johannesburg.